So before, we were adding and uploading files, creating new files, all in the branch of master. Okay, so if we click on this branch button right here, we only have one branch. Okay, and you have options of yours, active, stale, all branches, right? We only have one branch, so it really doesn't make a lot of sense right now. But, uh, but what this allows us to do is to work on some code that you want to commit but you're not sure you want it to be in the master branch like maybe you're working on a on a new idea for your project um, for instance while you're compiling ROMs for your phone you might say well let's try if I use uh, if I steal some code from this other device let's put that in there and see if that code helps my phone work any better but I don't want to put it in the master branch yet because I'm not sure how well it's gonna work but I want to commit it so I have it saved and take a look at it so one of the ways that you can do that for instance if we're gonna upload our file we'll upload um, our file number two again our new file um, but this time we're going to create a new branch and we can call this branch anything we want we can say uh, new idea file right there so that creates a new branch so we propose our change now in this case it also made a pull request for us so a pull request is if you work with uh, particularly a group of people is how this typically works and you say hey you've made this great app and I want to add this little widget to the side of it I'm gonna do a pull request I'm gonna say hey I want to add this code to your repository and I'm gonna make a new branch and I'm going to give you a pull request say please look at this code and see if it's worth putting in and if it is go ahead and put it into the master branch so uh, I think this is a good idea. Remember, you can never have too much information. It's always better to give people more information when you want to uh, talk to them about their code. And so we'll go ahead and create that pull request. Um, there's some really wonderful things that GitHub and uh, consequently GitLab will do for you, and that is check to see can this be merged without messing up anything in the code that's already there. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean it will work. It's not like this is checking to make sure everything will work for you. It's just checking to make sure that there's no conflict in what you want to merge. But we'll get back to the pull request in a minute what I really want to look at is now we have two branches so we have new idea file and master now remember we added that new file but it's not on here because it's not in the master branch it is however in our new idea file branch now here's what's really cool we can go back to master <clears throat> and we can create a new file and we can say file 3 and this is our third file right and we could fill out this information we're going to commit it to the master branch commit our new file so now the master branch has file 3 and file 1 but when we go to our new idea file branch it does not have file 3 because we didn't commit it to that branch we committed it to the master branch and hopefully this isn't too confusing but uh, it's supposed to be like branches of a tree as you think about it you know if you're pinning things to one branch of a tree it's not going to be on every branch of the tree it's only on certain branches of the tree now if we look at these branches it says we have our master branch and our new idea file branch and it's saying the active branch is the one that you just worked on um, and what's great is you can um, change which one is the default branch you could say well I really want this new idea file that's really working out I want that to be the new default I want that to essentially be the new new um, head branch right and so you can click on that and make that make that happen also if we go back to our pull request you can see 
that we still have this pull request asking if we can insert this file into our master branch and there's still no um, conflict if we added this file there wouldn't be anything that would get overwritten or changed that would be detrimental because the two uh, mesh very nicely together um, and so branches allows you to store different groups of code uh, to be used in different ways um, or to work on ideas and then put them in. Now I've jumped over here to my uh, main page here because I want to look at some examples of some branches. Uh, let's see. I bet, I bet I have some branches in here. Yeah, so here what I've done is I've used this branch tool uh, by having different branches, I have a branch for Slim Nugget, Slim Marshmallow, Pack Marshmallow, Liquid Marshmallow, uh, AOKP Nugget, AOKP Marshmallow for the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge phone. And so you can actually use this as a way to separate your code and have less repositories. Um, you can also use this if you have, um, like you'll see this in... Uh, for instance, Lineage OS, where they'll have each branch is a different version, you know, 13.0, 14.1, 15.1, uh, and now 16, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so it, it really is a handy way to organize your code and still have it all in one place, um, and just ways to keep track of what uh, what changes you want to do or not do.